lizard. Squeak is his friend. One day they planted a tiny seed, watered it and gave it a feed. Bubble waved his whisk in the air. All they could do was stop and stare as the carrot grew and grew and grew. A little door opened and they walked through. Bubble and Squeak are here to take your seats. Spider here reporting to you from the Carrot Rocket. And today, I spy with my spider eyes. Oh, a muttering bubble. <laughs> Hello. Bubble's having a bit of trouble today. Uh, yeah, he's forgotten something really important. Is it a, a vest or a waistcoat or, or swimming trunks? Oh, <laughs> he can't remember the right word to do with his magic. Or, or, or stripy socks. Uh, or polka dot shorts. Ugh. Hello! I've been invited to a posh party, and I'm trying to remember a spell to make me look really smart. But I can't remember one word, so the magic spell won't work. Hmm. hmm. Bubble's missing word is the name of something you wear. Any ideas? Oh, come on, Bubble. Think really hard. I am thinking really hard. Look. I just can't think of the word. Well, uh, don't worry. Mm. Squeak and I'll help you. So the word is something you wear, something isn't you it? Wear. Um, mm. Well, mm. well, well, you do the spell bubble and leave the rest of Muffet and me. Yeah. OK, then. Uh, where's my magic whisk? Aha! Here goes. <gasps> For a magic spell to dress up smart, just say... Trousers! <laughs> and you'll look the part. Bubbly boot. <laughs> No, no, no! These are clown's trousers. I couldn't wear these to a really smart party. <laughs> <laughs> Do the spell again, Bubble. I've got an idea for the magic word. All right. Uh, for a magic spell to dress up smart, just say... Suit! And you'll look the part. Bubbly boo! <laughs> Whoa! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> hey, 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 Sir Bubble, do the spell again. <laughs> yeah, because I've got an idea for the missing word. Uh, OK, uh, for a magic spell to dress up smart, just say... Dance! <laughs> and you'll look the part. Bubbly boo. <laughs> Do the backward spell. <laughs> What's a daisy, dearie me? Make things how they used to be. <gasps> Nothing's happened. <laughs> we need your help. Will you say the backward spell with us? All together now. What's a daisy, dearie me? Make things how they used to be. <laughs> oh, phew, back to normal. Thanks for helping. <laughs> oh, we're sorry to laugh, but. word for the dressing up when you want to look smart spell. Oh, <laughs> I bet Matilda could help you, yeah. yeah. Matilda, yes. <laughs> <laughs> to see you again. How is everyone today? Well, I'm having a lot of trouble remembering a magic word, Matilda. We thought you might be able to help. Hmm. Well, I know a story about someone else who had trouble remembering things. It's called The Story of Mrs. Peabrain. <laughs> Shall we take a look? Mrs. Peabrain was always forgetting things. Every morning, she would wake up 
have a good stretch and try to remember if there was anything important she had to do that day. But she could never remember. Sometimes she even forgot to get up. Mrs. Peabrain forgot to put away her pots and pans. And she forgot to have any food in the house. And when she did remember to go to the shops, she was often still wearing her nighty. <laughs> Mrs. Peabrain had a friend called Mr. Sharp. He was very good at remembering things. Mr. Sharp showed Mrs. Peabrain how to tie a knot in a hanky to help her remember things. Mrs. Peabrain thought this was a great idea. She tied a knot in her hanky every night before she went to sleep. And in the morning, that knot helped her to remember to get up. She tied a knot in her hanky to remind her to do the washing up after she'd eaten her breakfast. She tied a knot in her hanky to remind her to go to the shops to buy food. But one morning, she woke up and found one, two, three knots in her hanky. She remembered what the first knot was for. It was to remind her to get up. When she went to the wardrobe, she remembered what the second knot was for. She had to put her best clothes on today. And she knew what the first knot was for. She knew what the second knot was for. But what was the third knot for? Mrs. Prebrain thought and thought when suddenly the doorbell rang. Happy birthday! smiled the postman as he handed over a pile of cards and presents. And then Mrs. Peabrain remembered it was her birthday. That was what the third knot was for. Mr. Sharp had a little birthday party for her. He was amazed when she arrived exactly on time. She'd remembered the time. She'd remembered the place. She'd even remembered to dress up smartly although she should have remembered to change out of her slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matilda. Tying knot. What a clever way of remembering things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad Mrs. Peabrain remembered her birthday party. I'm going to tie knots in everything from now on. <laughs> uh, Bubble, I think you might be going a bit far with this knot business. <laughs> You've tied my legs in a knot, you silly bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Squeak. I, I suppose I was getting a bit carried away. And I still can't remember the magic word for dressing up when you want to look smart spell. Maybe there's some foodie magic you could do to help you remember, Bubble. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there is. Let me get my magic shopping list. Here it is. Ooh, there's nothing on here at the moment. Let's ask the cauldron for some help. Cauldron, cauldron, from your bubbles, find some food to sort our troubles. <laughs> what has the cauldron put on our magic shopping list today? We've got cheese. A baking potato, an olive, and peppers. One of these foods is a magic ingredient. Which one? Which one? Which one do you think it'll be? It's the potato. <laughs> I wonder why potatoes are so magical. Why don't you go and ask some of your friends? Good idea. <laughs> Wait for me. Stand by for the carrot countdown! Five! Four! Three! Two! One! Follow! <laughs> Carrots away! <laughs> We're here! Oh, goody, goody, gherkins! I'll go and find out about the magic ingredient. And I'll go and do the shopping. <laughs> bye, bye, bye for now. <laughs> oh, what's that lady doing? Oh, she's digging something out of the ground. Come on, let's take a closer look. Huh. Oh, 
What are these? They're, they're round and they're hard. It's a potato. <laughs> Potatoes need lots of sunshine and water to make them grow. Did you know that potatoes grew under the ground? Well, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to show my friends. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, Spring. <laughs> Look what I've got to show you. <laughs> They're yummy, scrummy potatoes. <laughs> yeah. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes, more. How do you like to eat potatoes? I like potato salad. Potato crisps are yummy. I like mashed potatoes. Rose potatoes are my favourite. I like jacked potatoes best. <laughs> there are so many different things you can do with potato. Oh, potatoes are magic. I can't wait to tell Bubble. Uh, have you seen Bubble anywhere? There he is! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I see him. Well, time I was going. <laughs> Bye, everyone! Bye, Squeak! <laughs> oh, hi, Bubble! Hi, Squeak! Hey, did you find out anything magical about the food we eat? Yes, I did. You can grow it, pick it, lick it, peel it, slice it, dice it, flip it, dip it. Wow, that is magical. <laughs> you can grow it. You can grow it. You can pick it. You can pick it. You can peel it. And you can lick it. Mm. It's yummy and delicious. Yum, yum. It's healthy and nutritious. Mm. That's the magic of food. Hey, hey, it's fair to say. You can dish up something different for your dinner every day And, and therefore, therefore we conclude That's the magic of food You can dice it You can dice it You can slice it You can slice it You can whisk it And you can spice it I sometimes like to flip it Hmm, it's dreamy when you dip it That's the magic of food Hey, hey, it's fair to say you can dish up something different for your dinner every day And therefore we conclude That's the magic of food, oh yeah That's the magic of food Different for your dinner every day, yeah We're back! <laughs> Did you get all of the ingredients? Yes, but there's something important we need to do before we cook do you remember? I do. Wash your hands under the tap. Then give yourselves a great big clap. <laughs> oh, thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank, thank you very much. You. <laughs> well, we're nearly ready. Almost. But I need my apron. Bubbly boom! <laughs> See what recipe the magic cauldron comes up with. Oh, goody goody gherkins. In goes 30 grams of yellow cheddar cheese. A juicy black olive. One slice of shiny red pepper. One slice of crunchy green pepper. And a lovely yummy potato. Right. Cauldron, cauldron, give us a clue. What foodie magic? Can we do? Oh, delicious. Today's recipe is a smarty party potato. <laughs> smarty party potato. <laughs> Let's get everything ready. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Matilda, could you help us with the recipe, please? <laughs> of course. First, ask a big wizard, that's a grown-up, to preheat the oven to 200 degrees centigrade, or gas mark six. I'm a big wizard, so I can do that. Wash the potato and prick the skin all over with a fork. That's to help the potato cook properly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Squeak. Now, put the potato in a baking tray and get a big wizard to pop it in the oven for you. It needs to cook for 40 minutes. Oh, well, what should we do 
while we're waiting. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and remember the magic word for my dressing up when you want to look smart spell. Oh, I've just remembered a great joke. Oh, goody, goody, goody. I'll go on, Muffet. <laughs> OK. Uh, Bubble, will you remember me next week? Of course I will. Squeak, will you remember me next month? Oh, how could I forget you, Muffet? <laughs> uh, Bubble, Squeak, will you remember me next year? Yes! yes. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? <laughs> See? <laughs> you forgot me already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tricked us. <laughs> now, the potato has cooked and cooled. So you need a big wizard to cut through the middle of the potato with a blunt knife. Now we'll open it up, and with a spoon, we'll take out the middle of the potato in the skin. But be careful, because the insides might still be hot. Put all the potato from the middle into the bowl, like this. And then, with the grated cheese, we mix it all up. Oh. Do you want a mix, Squeak? Oh, cheesy bleasy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, great. <sighs> Thank you, Bubble. It's time to make your potato into a smarty party potato. Put the potato and the cheese back into the potato skin and press it together. Back into the potato skin you go. And one more. There we are. Now we'll just put it on a plate. Yeah. Now, um, let's add the little green pepper as a bow tie. Little green pepper. <laughs> and some olive slices as buttons. There's one. One. Two. two and three. three. <laughs> And two strips of the red pepper at the sides. <laughs> what, just here and here? Oh, that's it, like that, Bubble, yes. OK. <laughs> all smarty for the party. <laughs> and it's all ready to eat. Now, Bubble, hmm? before we can eat, there's something else we have to do. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yes, the cleaning up. Yes. I usually have to tell you that, Squeak. You do? <laughs> it's you that's forgetting things, Bubble, not us. <laughs> I know. Well, come on. Let's see if we can do this in bubble quick time. Yes. <laughs> what a mess. What a muddle. Let's get cleaned up on the double. Come on, time to eat. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> right, I'll take this bit here. Mmm. Mm. Um, Bubble, um, mm. did you know that potatoes that are cooked in their skins are called jacket potatoes? Yeah, and it's funny because our smarty party potato is wearing a... Jacket! Yeah, right, there's no need to shout. Squeak! Jacket, that's the missing magic word for my dressing up smart spell. Oh, well done, you little froggy friend. <laughs> for a magic spell to dress up smart, just say jacket and you'll look the part. Bubbly boo! Hey! Wow! A smarty body bubble! <laughs> you look great! Thank you, Muffet, and thanks to you, Squeak, I can now go to my posh party. Oh, well, you will bring us back a piece of posh cake, won't you? I certainly will, and just so I don't forget, I'm going to tie a knot in my smarty party hanky. <laughs> <laughs> I do like happy endings, don't you? <laughs> See you soon, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Well, that's another problem solved with a little bit of foodie magic. If you want to make some of your own foodie magic, check 
other website at the top of your screen. <laughs> See you soon!